With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that Yasmin saves rupees 32 during the first month, rupees 36 in the second month and rupees 40 in the third month. If she continues to save in this manner, in how many months will she save rupees 2000? So if we observe carefully, Yasmin is saving 32 in the first month, 36 in the second month, 40th in the 40 rupees in the third month, and so on, such that ultimately she uh, the total amount that she saves is rupees 2000. This is what the question is saying. Now if we observe this, her saving pattern, what we find is that the difference between the second term and the first term is actually 4 and difference between if I call it d1 if I call it d2 the difference between third term and the second term that is 40 minus 36 is also 4 that means that it is an AP so this is an AP now we know that we are given the actually the sum of this AP and we are required to find out the number of terms which will give us this sum so let us assume that the number of terms is n this is what we are supposed to find out the first term is 32 and the common difference is 4 now the formula that we are going to use is formula for sum of formula for sum of n terms of ap which says that sn that is sum of n terms of ap is equals to n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d we are given the sum and we are we are required to find out the number of terms which will give us the required sum and the sum is 2000 so putting in the values we will get 2000 equal to n divided by 2 2 a a is 32 so 2 multiplied by 32 plus n is what we are supposed to find out n minus 1 multiplied by 4 on solving it we will get n this uh, 2 will go this 1 divided by 2 will divide 32 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 will give us 32 plus this 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 so we will have 32 plus 2 n minus 1 within the bracket on further solving it we will have n 32 plus 2n minus 2 which will give us 30 plus 2n multiplied by n is equals to 2000 on dividing it by 2 we will get n 15 plus n uh, and here also dividing by 2 because when an equation is divided by something it is divided on both the LHS and the RHS so we will have n square plus 15n minus 1000 is equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and now we are going to factorize this quadratic equation now to factorize is to factorize it we what we are going to do is we are going to split 15 such that the product will give us the product of the terms will give us the product of these two terms that is minus 1000 and the coefficient of n square minus 1000 mul multiplied by coefficient of n square is 1 so minus 1000 so if we observe if i split it in two terms that is 40 40 minus 25 will give us 15 and we mul when 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 i multiply 40 by minus 25 i will get minus 1000 so that means it is satisfied so i am going to split 15n so i can write this as n square plus 40n minus 25n minus 1000 is equals to 0 now n will can be taken common so we will have minus 25 n plus 40 is equals to 0 which will give us when n plus 40 is taken common we will have n from here and minus 25 from here so now this is equal to 0 so this is possible only this product is equal to 0 only either n plus 40 is equals to 0 or n minus 25 is equals to 0 now let's see n plus 40 is equals to 0 means that n is equals to minus 40 can the number of terms be in negative no so that means this is not the r answer now n is equals to 25 is our answer that means 25 terms will give us the sum of 2000 this means that the answer to this question is that it will take 
Yasmin 25 months of savings to to give a sum of rupees 22 rupees 2000. That's all. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.